my friends think that I'm completely obsessed with toilets. This is a thing. But they do. I was drinking in a bar with some mates and one of them came back from the bathroom and just as he was sitting down, he leant over the table to me and he went, unisex toilets here, Sarah, as if unisex toilets are my favourite band. <laughs> I was like, why are you telling me that? He was like, I thought you liked unisex toilets. I was like, I don't like toilets. <laughs> I'm not a toilet head. You know, I'm not a bit fan of toilets. I don't queue up for the next toilet. <laughs> The reason I have to care about toilets is because people care about me in toilets. People are scared of me in toilets. Do you think I like unisex toilets? They are arguably the worst of the toilets because they are always gross because everybody gets to use them. Do you think I'd go into a bathroom, sit down on the seat and go, do you know what the nice thing about this is the wide variety of ass that has touched this before me. <laughs> People don't like it when I say I don't like unisex toilets. They get upset about it because the argument for liking them is like, oh, they're just the same as your toilets at home. They're not the same because you can do what you want in a public toilet and nobody knows it's you. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? You wouldn't react the same way. You wouldn't go to your nan's house and find graffiti on the wall and piss all over the floor and look at it and go, oh, that's fine. I'll just hover. <laughs> you wouldn't do that at all, would you? If someone drilled a hole in your bathroom wall. <laughs> and stuck their dick through it. <laughs> you wouldn't even think about sucking it, would you? <laughs> Not for a second. You'd call the police. <laughs> the weirdest things in my life have happened to me in unisex toilets. I was once in a unisex toilet washing my hands. A man came in, panicked at the sight of me, and he stopped like that, like I was a bear. <laughs> and he went, oh, are these for everyone? <laughs> And I went, yeah, I think they might be. And he went, oh, all right. And then he walked off to go to the cubicle and then obviously just changed his mind, decided he had to say something because he popped his head back around it and he went, all right then, but just so you know, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I was like, mate, you did not have to say that. You've made it fucking weird now. I didn't know what to say back to him. I said, thank you. So essentially what's happened is a man's gone, do you know what, I'm not gonna hurt you tonight. And I've gone, sir, you are too kind. 